Hey everyone, this is Jeff the Computer Geek, and today I'll be doing an install of Debian Net Install with XFCE. Um, this is going to be a very thorough um, installation. Um, you're going to see me type some commands, and I'll be skipping some parts to make the video a little bit faster. Now, when you boot from the Net Install, you basically get this. Uh, you select your language. English, United States, American English. Oh, and this is Debian Squeeze um, Stable Net Install. And I'm going to be installing XFCE on here. Okay, loading additional components. I'm making this video so you guys kind of get an idea of how to install desktop environments and Debian Net Install. And I'm making this to teach people how to actually get Debian Linux set up for the first time if they don't know much about Linux and they want to try Debian and they don't really know what to do. And they want what they want and nothing more. That's the beauty of the net install. You get what you want and nothing more. Okay, I'm going to select my wireless. Um, I'm going to pause the video right here and I'm going to come back later. So, yeah. Okay, I got the wireless set up and now it's asking me for the host name for the system. Yeah, let's just select Debian. Um, domain name, whatever. <coughs> oh, yeah, and the net install does have wireless drivers in here. Um, I tried this on my desktop and none of my wireless cards worked in my desktop, but it works on here, so it really depends on your hardware. Right there I was just selecting the user for the for the install and the user password and the and I was setting up the root password. Um select your time zone, Eastern. Um, now we're going to partition the disk, we're going to select manual, because I want to manage how I want my partitions. Um, use as exte4. Um, format partition, yes. Mount point, root. Um, bootable flags on. Done setting up partition, finish partition, write changes to disk. Write changes to disk? Yes. Prepare partitions formatting. Installing the base. So I'm going to pause the video right here because this might take a while. Okay, so now it wants me to configure the package manager. Uh, United States, ftp.us.debian.org. Um, the mirrors you select will depend on where you live, so it probably won't be mine. If you live in a different country. Configuring apt right now. eighty seven percent ninety three percent ninety six a hundred okay select and install software I will pause it right here because this will take a while okay so now we select what software we want 
Right now I'm going to select nothing and I'm going to only select standard system utilities. If you want to select something, you press the space bar, then to get out of this, you press tab and click continue. So I'm selecting nothing because I'm going to install what I want later on when I get the um when I get in the terminal. All right, so this is going to take a while. Um Okay, so now that's done, we're going to be installing the Grub Bootloader. Um, whatever it, whatever it has in the default, it should be correct. So I'm just going to press continue. Finishing the installation. Installation complete. Okay, so now we're going to reboot the system and remove the the um the CD. Okay, now we are booted into the system. All we installed was this command line terminal, I guess, um, and a lot of other things behind it. Um, so now Debian login. We log in with the username we created earlier, which mine is Jeffrey, then our password. Okay, now we're logged in. Now we need to become root sue dash the root password you provided before. Now we're going to update our sources app slash get update. Now it hit the mirrors in the sources list. Now we're going to select our packages, what we want. So what you will want for XFCE, a very minimal install, we will do apt slash get install xorg XFCE Synaptic GDebi and Wisid. Whoops. And press enter. Unable to locate packets XFCE. Oh, I did something wrong. It's apt slash get install xorg xfce4 synaptic gdebi and wizard um after this insul after this operation 433 megabytes of additional disk space will be used do you want to continue Y for yes, N for no. Most likely you'll be typing yes. And press enter. Now we're, now it's going to install those packages. Um, let me explain what those packages were. Xorg was the, um, the system interface which everything builds off of. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, XFCE is a desktop manager. Um, Synaptic is the package manager. GDebi is the manager that installs packages. And Wisid is a network manager. Okay, so I'm going to pause this and yeah. Um, now it's saying configure Wisid daemon users who should be able to run Wisid clients need to need to be added to the group net dev. So we're gonna press spacebar for the name to select what user. Press tab and click OK. Okay, the installation process is done. But I forgot one last command. We're gonna we have to install the um the login manager. 
app slash git install gdm. Of course, you don't have to have a login ma login manager. You can always log in through here if you want, but it's always nice to have a login manager. Okay, so now well, we wait. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna get out of root. Uh, Sue, no oh, exit. and restart. Whoops, alright, so we're just gonna restart the computer. Okay, now we're at the grub bootloader and we're gonna start up the system. Remember, this is XFCE. XFCE is a very lightweight desktop manager and it's extremely lightweight when you do a when you do a small installation with the Debian net install extremely fast on here uses about 80 megabytes of RAM alright now we're at the GDM The GNOME Display Manager. I'm not really sure if XFCE has its own um, display manager for the login, but I just used the GNOME one. So we're booting the system right now, and here we go. Tips and tricks, this pops up on almost every XFCE distro, and as you can see right now, we're in the system with a minimal XFCE install. Alright, so we get very minimal stuff. We just get XFCE, um, WSID, Terminal, and Synaptic, and just XFCE, and that's all. That's all we got, and thanks for watching the video. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and thumbs up. <clears throat> You can visit my tech blog at jeffthecomputergeek.com. You can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash jeffthepcgeek. You can follow me on pork, pork.com slash jeffthepcgeek. You can, you can visit my forums at forums.jeffthecomputergeek.com. You can, you can visit my chat room. Link for it will be in the description. You can, of course, um join my chat room from my website um, and you can e email me anytime with any tech questions anytime any day at computergeek50000 at gmail.com and I'll see you guys later